Hi, I'm Jonathan Lamb. I'm uh, the Youth Minister at Bridgewater UMC. Thank you for joining us, us this evening. Today is Sunday, September uh, 20th, 2020, and tonight we're going to talk at least in part about the call story of Ruth. First, though, I would like to share a few, a few announcements. Um, next Saturday, actually the 26th, apology for my typo here, uh, uh, 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., we're going to be having service work at Mission Central. We're going to be helping to stain the deck, um, and we're going to be providing just whatever work they need to be done. And that's a mission agency that helps provide clothing and also medical supplies for those who are in need here in the Harrisonburg community. And then next Sunday, we'll have on the September 27th, our uh, next youth study um, with me. Well, today I wanted to share a little bit about Ruth. Her story seems so ordinary. She actually married into a, the family of Naomi. Naomi and her sons and family had moved to a country called Moab. They were Israelites, but because of hardships in their own country, they left and went to the nation of Moab. And Mary, or Ruth had married one of uh, Naomi's sons. Unfortunately, tragedy struck the family, and all the men died. And Ruth was the only one left with her. They always said, you've done your duty to my son, even a faithful wife. You can go home. Go back to your people in Moab. I, I'm desolate. I'm alone. I have to go back to my own people now. But Ruth says in Scripture, in response to Naomi's request, don't ask me to leave or turn back. I will live with you. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. That is what Ruth lived out. She went back and helped care for Naomi and helped provide for her, finding ways to provide for her. And this simple act was an act of obedience, where she cared for Naomi and eventually found for a way for Naomi to have people care for her. She got married, and, and this new family took care of Naomi to the end of her days. And you know what? She actually ends up becoming the great-grandmother of David, the David who's king of Israel, the David who slayed Goliath, the David who wrote all those psalms. Ruth really cared for Naomi. And it truly didn't make a difference. So I want to ask you a question, or a couple of questions, and you can answer which one you feel relates better to you. How have you been there for a friend, like Ruth was? Or, how has a friend been there for you? Feel free to take a few moments just to reflect and think about um, how this might be true for you. Also tonight, we're going to be having uh, a video by Tim Tebow. It's the third session in his series on Shaken called Others Matter. And you can watch that through your access to Right Now Media. I hope you all have a blessed evening, and may the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, may you bless your people this week, and bless all the youth and all the parents watching this video. Help them, Lord, as they continue uh, to grow with you and to mature as disciples. We pray this in your holy name, Jesus' name. Amen.